All right, back here on the sweat, we're going to turn our attention to the NHL. A huge storyline this weekend. Paul Bruno of Rotowire is here, and I'm glad you are because I have to ask you, and it's unfortunate AJ's not here, Paul, because it was AJ's Penguins putting up 11 stinking goals in a win over the weekend. Like, that is Sunday fun day at its best. Like, the first team to put up 11 goals – in two decades, dude, if Getty Malkin scoring a Hattie, like his 13th career hat trick, Paul, teams are not supposed to be able to score 11 goals. What, what the heck happened here? Can you imagine, AJ, if he was in a drinking game? He'd still be. That's why he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's just an example of how offense is up around the league this year a little bit. Yeah. Now. Particularly in the second half, I'm seeing it. Normally, we see things starting to tighten up as the playoffs are approaching, but that isn't happening. We're still seeing teams get five, six, seven goals uh, routinely uh, in the last couple of weeks. And then, of course, the Pens with the high watermark yesterday with 11. Yeah. Imagine being the poor soul who bet the under on the goal total in in that game. (laughs) Also, if anyone was brave enough to roster uh, Detroit Netminder, uh, they scored a combined negative 217 DK fantasy points. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, five game NHL slate. So I'm glad you're here. We'll talk some DFS. We'll talk some sports book. Let's first start in the fantasy department. So hook me up with your favorite center. I'll give you three of them to think about Emerson. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl had a big night on Saturday night. Looks like he's really in a groove and threatening to take the Rocket Richard trophy away from Austin Matthews. It's going to be quite a race down the stretch. I like Dreisaitl's chances to pad his numbers tonight against Arizona, a team that's leaking oil uh, and goals against uh, as well. Uh, pretty good reference about the Edmonton club too, don't you think? Nine goals, 15 points in his last 10 games, averaging 18.6 DK points. But uh, alongside him, I consider JT Miller, who's just continued to score for the last six or seven weeks on a regular basis, priced at $7,400, gets a St. Louis club whose goaltending is in in disarray with Billy Huso now joining Jordan Bennington in the number of goalies around the league that are struggling. And both St. Louis guys are right now. So that's a good matchup. And then finally, Tage Thompson, the hulking center from the Buffalo Sabres, who continues to score as well and uh, really showing an offensive side of his game in a really nice situation as he was converted to wing a few weeks ago. And he's loving it in the middle of the ice. Gets Chicago, a team that's also giving up a lot of goals. So that's another pretty nice matchup, too. Okay. Uh, when we go to favorite wing, I mean, maybe try to target somebody who's playing the Buffalo Sabres? Right, and that's Patrick Kane. Uh, good good segue. Uh, he, he is a Buffalo native, of course, so he gets up for the games in, uh, against his home, home base uh, club. And so $7,400 is the price tag. He's got 22 points in his last 10 games played, 30 shots on goal, still a prolific scorer, despite the fact that Chicago's pretty much waved the white flag on this season. He's still in it to, to win uh, or uh, threaten the scoring race, so uh, a good play there. And then below him, uh, back to the Edmonton matchup, Evander Kane for $6,600. I look at I look at a stat here on him to see if he's engaged, and he's got 38 hits in his last 10 games, along with 37 shots. That tells me he's in it to, to make an impact every night, and he's part of a big Edmonton offense offense that's rolling right now so a good play tonight for a guy who's got seven goals in his last 10 games in that matchup and then finally David Perron of St. Louis I think it's going to be a goal fest in that game against Vancouver and Perron has been the hottest goal scorer of late in around the NHL 10 goals and 14 points in his last 10 games 38 shots on goal for him in that stretch as well all right man so as we go to the blue line here I know on a slate with a lot of like big names like on defense are not playing Seth Jones, I'm tar- we're targeting that Sabres game again. Seems like like the safest and most balanced option here. Well, he is one to consider. I'm going to give you a couple more to think about. Uh, John Carlson, obviously the point get, top point getter among this group of 10 points in his last 10 games played. And I like the way the Caps are playing and not so much for the Hurricanes. I think they're floundering a little bit of late. So that's a key one for me. And then uh, he's also blocked 17 shots on in the last 10 games. So don't forget about the fact that that factors into scoring. You can grab him for $7,000. 
I like Quinn Hughes tonight as well because he faces a Blues team. As I said, the, the goalies are struggling. So uh, he's a guy that is a linchpin to their power play, has nine points in his last 10 game, games played. And then I see like potential for the Edmonton club to go on a points night tonight versus Coyote, as I, as I implied earlier. So I really like Darnell Nurse to join that party as the top Oilers scoring defenseman of late. He costs $5,700 tonight. All right, this is when you thrive. Your favorite value play on the slate tonight. A pair of Edmonton for, forwards jump out uh, to me, a stack possible when you consider how cheap they are. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is back in the, their lineup, and he uh, he's provided some juice for them earlier in the season when he's come back from injury. Has eight points and 34 shots on goal in his last 10 games played, central to their power play for success as well. He comes in at $4,800. Similarly, Kyle Yamamoto is also a consideration. He's found a home on the right wing on the top line next to McDavid, and you and I can score points there. Yep. So he's got seven goals and 10, 12 points in his last 10 games played, as well as eight blocks to factor in offensively and defensively and pile up DK points there. And finally, Trevor Moore of the LA Kings is a bit of a, a lower uh, level play in terms of visibility and maybe name recognition, but he's lighting it up right now on, it, on LA's second line, quietly putting up nine points in the last 10 games played against lowly Seattle Kraken in the second of uh, two consecutive games for Seattle in uh, Tinseltown. So uh, for $4,400, you can get more in your lineup again. All right, last one here, Paul. Need you quick. Need you quick on it. How about a goal total you're targeting? Highest one, Arizona Edmonton, six and a half. Well, I like that too, but I like to think there's too much firepower on both teams in the in the and the unstable St. Louis game is one that I've highlighted already with Vancouver. These clubs will easily go over the six goal mark, and the same applies to the Sabres visit to Chicago. So I take the over to play uh, six goals against tonight. 